Good day, beautiful people. I'm Justina, and welcome back to my channel, Day Away Natural Skincare. So today I want to share with you and introduce to you a new mini Christmas gift series. What we're gonna do for next like seven weeks? Because I think it's about seven or eight weeks till Christmas. So in the next few weeks, every Sunday morning, because I'm uploading my videos every Sunday, Saturday morning, excuse me, every Saturday morning, you're gonna find a little video how to make a DIY natural body care products, which by the end of seven weeks, you're gonna gather them all together in a nice little bag and you can give it to your loved ones. So they're gonna be a super simple recipes. So don't worry if you never ever try to formulate any of the DIY skincare products yourself. I'm gonna make it super simple and easy for you, okay? So you're gonna need only a few ingredients and the formula is gonna be so simple and I'm really excited about this coming season to share and these simple recipes with you, okay? So no further ado, let's go and make our first recipe. So the first recipe, we're gonna do a DIY lotion body bars. I love lotion body bars. They are solid body lotions, you know, uh, which it's so easy to carry around, you know, if you travel or if you travel or if you're staying at somebody's place, you know, and all you can, this way you can always keep your skin moistured, okay? so. What we're gonna need for this recipe, only a few little ingredients, okay? As I said to you, we're gonna make it super simple and super easy, okay? So the first ingredient, what we're gonna need, we're gonna need some of the wax, okay? And here I have, the sun is shining so badly here, and here I have a candelilla wax, okay? If you don't have candelilla wax, don't worry about that, use a beeswax. I do not have a beeswax, so I'm gonna use some of the candelilla wax, okay? So the candelilla wax, it's a vegan substitute for beeswax, okay? We're gonna use some wax, I think, in one more recipe in the next coming weeks, so make sure you will get at least, you will have at least 50 grams of any kind of wax, okay? So the whole formula and recipe you will find in the description box below as usual, okay? So some wax, okay? So wax will help uh, to put the solid bars it's gonna give a solidity, you know, so it's gonna be pretty hard and it's gonna put a solid bars together, okay? The next ingredient I have in here, I have in here a, oh, the sun is so bad. <laughs> I have in here a cacao butter, okay? Unrefined cacao butter, which just smells like chocolate because, you know, chocolate, it's made from cacao beans. So <laughs> this is so cool and I love the smell of it. So cacao butter. We're gonna need uh, some butter again in one more recipe. So if you don't have any kind of butter, get cacao butter. It, but if you don't have a cacao butter, or maybe you have a mango butter or a shea butter, don't worry about that. Just substitute it, your cacao butter into any butter what you have that you don't need to spend more money on it, okay? The next ingredient, what we're gonna need, we're gonna need some coconut oil, okay? I have in here organic coconut oil. It's a bit melted here because it was in the sun <laughs> so I have in here waited out some coconut oil okay if you don't have coconut oil but probably everyone has coconut oil in your kitchen so grab coconut oil as well you can substitute it to your olive oil or even sunflower oil if you have you can use the almond oil it it really depends on you know, what kind of oil you have don't go you know special for this in a shop you know just to buy organic coconut oil, okay? So some oil. Then, this is really optional, we have in here vitamin E. Vitamin E, it's very good, it's full of antioxidants, okay? So if you don't have vitamin E, so don't worry about it, you know, um, this is pretty optional, but if you were thinking to make more, more and more often uh, and get more into natural skincare products so vitamin e it's really vitamin e is really essential when you use um, oil based products okay when you formulate oil based products okay so vitamin e and of course i got i have in here a few two essential oils which we're gonna use i have in here wild orange essential oil and 
frankincense essential oil. If you don't have frankincense essential oil, don't worry about that. Don't use it. Do use only orange essential oil. Orange essential oil has so many great benefits and I love the smell and I love when easy peelers, mandarins come into season, you know, every Christmas and this this when you're peeling you know mandarins is the pillars it's it reminds me of christmas every year and that's why we're going to use the orange essential oil as well you can use a mandarin essential oil if you have one so no further ado let's go and make it so to this what we're gonna need so i have in here already weighted out um candelilla wax in a glass beaker which is heat proof okay so you can put this um, you can put this in your microwave if you have it. I don't have a microwave. I don't use it for last maybe five years or so. So otherwise, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a double boiler method and I'm just gonna put it on the stove. So I have a stove just here. This is a special pot, which I'm using only for um, my products, not for cooking <laughs> anything. So there is some water already there. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a foil, tin foil, place it on it. Okay, place it in the double boiler here and just gonna leave it to melt it because because candelilla wax it has a higher melting point so I just gonna let it to melt it first like a half or so and then I'm gonna add like, some cacao butter and then I'm gonna add um, coconut oil to melt it but if you use a beeswax then you can use all uh, put all of this together oil butter and bees fax and melt it together okay so i'm just doing this way because candelilla as i said it has a higher melting point well so my wax almost melted but so what i'm gonna do now open it and gonna put in some of the cacao butter cacao butter and uh, coconut oil okay and just finish melting everything very well together well so finally all my solid ingredients base wax cacao butter and coconut oil melted it took because i don't have microwave <laughs> in a double border it took about like 20 minutes i think so for everything to melt it because um as i said before candelilla max uh, wax felt uh, melting very 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 long anyways so before we adding our vitamin e and essential oils we have to let it to cool down okay because vitamin e and essential oils they are heat sensitive ingredients okay so when to know when we can add them we can add them when our mixture it reaches less than 40 degrees Celsius okay so I have this thermometer here which I'm using in my um, laboratory <laughs> so I have in here and that's what when I see it and it is 41 degrees so that's fine it's almost here now so what I'm gonna do it now just open up my little scales and now I'm gonna add some vitamin E, orange essential oil and frankincense essential oil. So I need to add 0.7 grams of each of them, okay? So putting on the scales, tearing out the scales, if you see, if you don't have the scales, you just try to add in the drops, okay? But of course drops will be it varies from from what kind of essential oils you have because some essential oils are very thick some it's more watery and vitamin e it's always very thick so that means the thicker it is the less you need okay so i put vitamin e in here tearing out the scales now I'm putting some more orange essential oil 0.7 okay and i'm putting some of the frankincense essential oil tearing out the scales okay perfect so now we're just mixing everything very very well together and what we're gonna do now, then we're gonna just place it in the little silicone molds okay so what I have in here I have in here a little silicone molds I have in here I got this is the new like little stars as well I have a little hearts here 
So these silicone molds are tiny ones. Of course, if you don't have these tiny ones, you can get the bigger ones, but these tiny ones will be very good. And it only will be used, um, the lotion bar will be used for one or maximum two times, you know. So, everything is mixed. Oh, lovely smell of orange. I love it. Okay, so let's transfer everything into silicone molds. Yay! So I got about 11 or 12 stars. So that's good. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna leave them aside just like this. I'm not even gonna move them. We're gonna leave them aside and to get a solid consistency, okay? So I see you in about an hour or so. Then we're gonna see how it's gonna look. See you soon. Well guys, so it's been about two hours and I have it here as you see. Okay, so let's take them out and have a look. Look at these beautiful stars, you see? It's a lovely orange smell. I can smell like a little hint of um, frankincense essential oil. As well, you can smell of uh, cacao butter. Because cacao butter is unrefined cacao butter, so it smells fantastic. Wow, look at this. They are very small, tiny, so it will be perfect for one time use onto your body. On, use it on the dry areas of your body, which will be probably elbows, legs, knees, you know. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. Uh, all the information is on YouTube. So, I see you next week. Okay, bye.